when you think you have everything set up you sit down, you're ready, turn on the camera and then it says no memory card hello everybody, how are you all doing today? welcome back to me reacting to my past travel videos to Japan while we're all waiting to enter Japan me particularly, if you don't know I was supposed to be an international student that was going to move and study in Japan this is my magic um, in April of 2020 so I've been now waiting for 16 months and I'm so done and I'm very angry and upset I repeat this at every intro of my videos because now is a very important time for all international students, uh, stranded spouses, uh, workers who want want who need to enter Japan right now like yesterday because the second the Olympics are over we are all hoping to enter Japan which is why I would really appreciate it if you went on and shared and talked about the hashtag education is not tourism if you went to go check out the website education is not tourism we need to get our message out there that we are stuck that it is costing us a lot financially, mentally, physically, just name it this has affected our lives in such a negative way <sighs> we need to get heard and we need you to help us get heard pretty please, education is not tourism I'll link everything I can in the description and this is always the preface to our little more relaxed videos I know all of this is very serious it is very serious for me, I mean I'm living in my mother's home office in the countryside, on a futon on the floor of no today is me reacting to episode 4 of the 2017 trip to Tokyo if you hear noise in the background Pachi, my cat, is going a little crazy I'm not sure, it could be the weather, it's really dark and gloomy um, so me reacting to that trip um, what do I remember? I just checked out the title and it says Lost in the Rain in Shinjuku so that means don't remember the episode at all except for one thing which I think happens is that I have ramen for the first time I think that's what happens and I'm very excited about it so <laughs> enough talking, enough with the serious stuff and uh, let's start this episode as usual, if you haven't watched any of these videos watch them before because I'm going to be talking over it I'm gonna have to remove um, I'm gonna have to remove some audio which has been copyrighted since then for some annoying reason uh, I'll be pausing and, you know, annoying. Pause this, go watch the episode, the video in itself. I'm always trying to read the tiny, like I feel like a freaking grandma. <laughs> Pause it, go watch it, come back and reminisce with me as I try and remember what happens and maybe give you some more information that I may have not mentioned in the video or that I find useful okay let's get comfy but she's on the floor looks like he's all pooped out from his running around and uh, let's yeah here we go loading well that has a fair amount of likes I did not know that Good morning everybody, I am in the middle of a crowd <laughs> So I'm very embarrassed, as usual not to change So this is day 3, I'm at Ikebokuro I just went to Big Camera and picked up a SIM card finally for my phone, uh, the people kindly installed it for me, luckily, because it seemed like a huge hassle. Um, and now I'm in front of anime, which is anime related things. Okay, pausing it already because I am speeding over things, but I do mention in a later video about how to plan your trip to Japan. Very good video, in my own opinion. But I do mention finally getting my SIM card, which means that I'm 
probably not relying as much on the app maps.me to find my way but more uh, Google Maps thanks to my internet connection and that I will be able to find my way around uh, the metro and the subway all of that obviously following Google Maps uh, recommendation I know there are other apps I mentioned all of that in my how to plan the trip video but from what I remember I used primarily Google Maps to find my way uh, I did mention getting my sim card in big camera in Ikebukuro apparently I'm not sure if I remember that completely or if I went somewhere else and then to Ikebukuro but I do remember that the guy just installed the card for me for free which is not something that happens usually I think you have to pay for them to install the card and the second time I got a, uh, a travel, like a tourist sim card they didn't install it for me, I had to do it myself and it was quite the hassle I didn't even have like that pen to open the phone so big cam and then animate I had totally forgotten that I went to animate completely forgotten but yeah like past Ika says it's a rainy day so it's a good thing to be indoors <laughs> for about 45 minutes there before getting served they actually give you the menu while you're waiting in line and they actually even take your order when you're waiting in line it's nothing like I've ever tasted nothing compared uh, to the ones I had in Belgium still in Ikebukuro now I'm gonna find uh, I think it's called Sunshine City something like that and I'm gonna find the Pokemon Center and I'm absolutely full I'm bursting <laughs> I'm so good let's go okay pause again Mutaki Mutaki ramen first ramen in japan if i recall correctly i remember standing in line for a very long time i remember getting handed the menu in english i think in the line the server taking my order in the line it's actually weird because i remember fragments of that day but it's not as clear as some other days that i've seen uh so far I remember that it was very cramped inside and that I was a bit like hesitant to film because you literally have you're almost shoulder to shoulder with the person at this bar because obviously I'm eating by myself so it's really just people aligned where I was eating it was an explosion of flavor I don't remember where I read about Muteki Ramen maybe in a video or something but yeah I do recommend it it's worth the weight in my opinion I would go again I would definitely go back and try com something like completely different something else that I noticed uh, is that I'm standing in front of the ramen store just talking and everyone behind me like most people behind me are holding umbrellas and I don't seem to be getting rained on very much maybe there are a few drops um, and that's definitely something that I noted on the when I was walking in Tokyo during that rainy portion of my trip is that at the f first drop of rain people opened their umbrellas and me myself I like having my like both of my hands free I'm not a fan of umbrellas um, <laughs> so it was uh, not it wasn't shocking but it was something that I def that definitely jumped out to me <laughs> uh, let me know if it's just an impression or if you've noticed that or if you're Japanese do you hi I don't know maybe I just don't like umbrellas and I I'm late to opening my umbrella like unless it's pouring chucking it down I don't feel like opening my umbrella so how do I get from here to there right the stairs <laughs> I'm seeing some stairs over there there's apparently some kind of signing I don't know if it's like a boy band or something, but it's 
I feel out of place here. I just want to see Pokemon. I don't know them. Do you know them? I don't. But they seem to be famous. I found it! Okay, let me pause this epic moment for a second and say that both times, both times I went to Sunshine City, I could not find the access to the Pokemon Center. For ages, I was turning and turning around, not finding it. I think that, <clears throat> I think that every time I enter Sunshine City in Ikebukuro, I go through some weird entrance or something because <laughs> twice, I don't think it's a coincidence like I don't, I probably enter the building in a totally weird way and I never remember how I found the Pokemon Center in the end like both times, I just remember going around and around and getting very frustrated because I think both times I went to the Pokemon Center, it was raining outside, so I was just like, rah! <laughs> People, crowds, like stairs, going in circles, I just want to go see Pikachu. <laughs> buy everything, buy all the plushies, all the Pikas! <gasps> I want a Pokemon plush so bad. I want a Chansey, like a Araki plushie so bad, yo. Oh, I want a Psyduck. Um, Pokemon plushy. Little memory from the gacha, which I think was from that time. There were two people, I don't know where they were from, um, who were like just buying all of them. Like not even, I don't even know if they were looking inside, they were just putting money, getting the ball, putting in their, the ball in their bag, like the gacha ball, and just doing that repeatedly. And to this day, I still wonder what that was for, like to resell, maybe? Don't ask how, but somehow I found myself in the pedestrian underground walking area and I just walked from what seemed to be Shinjuku to the... I don't even know where I am right now Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, I think? I'm not even sure To be honest, I'm kind of lost and I've been underground for way too long so. Now I'm just looking for a way out. Any way out, really. <laughs> Once you get in those that underground pedestrian area, it's kind of a maze. And sometimes there's no exit for quite a long time, so you can feel a little, like, mm, not claustrophobic. Yeah, maybe a little claustrophobic. Like, if you want to get out, it's kind of... <laughs> Kind of stressful. Uh, 45, 45th floor of the Tokyo government. No, Tokyo government building. I thought I wasn't gonna find out. I was about to give up, and then I saw a sign saying observatory. So behind me is a view of Shinjuku. Did I ever go there during the day? I don't remember. It was so peaceful. It was really nice that first time in that building. Yeah, I really liked it. And also, I don't know how I got so lucky on this sec on this first trip because the second time I went there, and like only in 2019, so two years after, it was so crowded. It was so loud. It was too much. It was it just became super touristy. Whereas here, there's just no one. Look at it. There's no one behind me. Like okay, no one. Like. <laughs> Compared to what I remember it um, in 2019 for the second trip, it was super quiet. The queues to the elevators were practically non existent. So uh, I don't know how lucky I got. See, so that's good. I'm gonna head down now. I'm gonna try my, find my way. Did you just see that? Did, did anyone just saw. Did every. 
Did anyone just see what I just saw right now? Like, let me know. Like, that was ominous foreshadowing at its... <laughs> I was gonna say at its best, but yeah, maybe that was an exaggeration. <laughs> let me go back. And... Olympic 2020! You're ruining everything! Well, Corona started ruining everything, but you are continuing! <laughs> ah. <laughs> 2017, guys. Sign was there. Okay, I'm back in Shinjuku right now, and I do remember getting so lost. I was just going around and around. I was just going around and around in circles. Couldn't find my way. The whatever map I was using was not helping me because I think it was like seeing the underground and above ground and it was just a friggin nightmare and it's not like you could turn around easily it's kind of when you're in one direction it's like when you're in a car you can't just go around you have to go and wait and then try like you're stuck in a flow of people and that was Shinjuku on a Friday night <laughs> That was, that was an experience and a half. <laughs> oh, did I go to Golden Guy? I thought it was the next time. I like this light. It's great. <laughs> I'm done for today. I'm gonna find my way back to the hostel, back to Shinjuku station, and then the Yamanote line. Back, 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 back. See you either later or tomorrow, guys. Forgot to say, this is the vending machine pick of the day. Royal milk tea. Vending machine pick of the day. We were close to vending a vending machine of the day already, eh? Okay, okay, that's the end of that episode so what just happened at the end yeah went to golden guy honestly it was the end of the day it feels like i didn't do much in this episode but i think i just basically went into a bunch of shops uh mostly anime and cosplay shops just to discover i don't think i bought much um i didn't know most of the anime there at that time i guess i only know the ones that were big enough to make it in in europe and not even that mainstream i like at that point and even now i like more like girly stuff like nana or pokemon i'm <laughs> not saying pokemon is girly but you know what i mean um <laughs> so i think i mainly did that on that day i was in and out of shops had a ramen for lunch went to the pokemon center <laughs> went to the pokemon center feel like i spent a good chunk of time at the pokemon center walked around shinjuku for a little bit went up into the mm, government metropolitan shit that was not the right order <laughs> appreciated the view for a little bit and then walked around shinjuku i feel like I, I lost a big chunk of time when i got lost in shinjuku afterwards with all the crowds of people going around and around and i think i may have gotten a bit frustrated then which is probably why i didn't really feel like another reason why i didn't feel like entering any of the bars in golden guy was just like took me ages to find it i'm kind of done i want to go back to the hostel i still have to edit all the photos and post them on my instagram <laughs> that's what i was doing yo it took me forever just like i came back and like went through my photos posted a few a day put some in my stories i was taking this very seriously like taking checking my notes seeing what i was going to do the next day um yeah definitely the next time i go to japan which will technically be as a student, so I will be living there. I won't be doing like so, like cramming everything one day to the next, which was what I did for the two trips. And the second one kind of murdered me, <laughs> if you can recall. Yeah, okay, day four, Shinjuku and Ikebukuro, apparently. Don't know what's waiting for us. I think I do mention that I have to change hostel very soon because there was like one day where they didn't have any room for me so I stayed a bunch of days in one stayed in one day in another if you remember you know where and then stayed switched again to the 
same one but a different room like i don't remember exactly but it was like a lot of hassle uh which was fine in the end but it was a bit of a hassle um <laughs> oh yeah i did mention taking the yamanote line home which was probably not the fastest but it was covered by the jr pass yep now i'm starting to use my jr pass in the subway again i don't remember it's so weird like so many elements are just gone from my memory but uh yeah i don't there are a lot of little things that i don't remember which is i'm very happy to have filmed and then i love seeing how excited i am about everything like i can literally see like sparkles in my eyes do i still have sparkle in my eyes guys or do i just look like dead inside <laughs> ah anyway <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. There weren't as many insights as I thought there would be, but I'm gonna remember the Pokemon Center and the ramen. Yes! What would you guys do in Shinjuku and Ikibukuro if you got the chance to go there or if you already went there in the past? What are some recommendations? Leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to discover new places and read about your memories and all of that. And of course, I will see you in the next episode, episode 5, still in Tokyo. Ooh, I'm getting excited for the ones outside of Tokyo. I'm not gonna lie, I've been to Tokyo twice now, but outside of Tokyo, I've only been once and I'm very excited to see them. Ooh. One request, pretty please, is to check out educationisnottourism.com and to share the hashtag educationisnottourism wherever you can. Just like use a, a like one of those speaker things and go like, Lediku and other students and stranded people into Japan. It isn't fair. It just isn't right. <clears throat> Do it for you could tree. Oh, camera battery is flashing, telling me to shut up. <laughs> I see you guys next time and on social media. I always love chatting with you anywhere you want to chat. I'll word you. Mwah!